What is the reason of your visit today to the World Farm Convention Center in The Hague? Well, there are several reasons. The most important reason is uh, uh, that uh, I've been invited to, uh, first of all, I would like to participate in this very important meeting. And the second reason is that I've been invited to uh, moderate a session, a high-level panel, this afternoon that will be about uh, the closing of the long consultation process that was held uh, on the on the internet and many many good proposals came yesterday various working groups have uh, discussed the various proposals with respect to the post 2015 agenda and uh, tonight uh, or rather this afternoon with uh, the crown prince of the netherlands the crown prince of the prince of jordan uh, and high level people from the private industry and, and business uh, we will ask them whether would they be ready to endorse uh, this statement uh, and also to build a dialogue between the public, the, the, the audience that is here, and these high-level people with respect to the future of water management. And say, can you say something about the post-2015 Sustainable Development Goals and how that will feed into the October Budapest Water Summit? One of the uh, recommendations that came out yesterday, and it is also in the uh, final statement, is that uh, with the Sustainable Development Goals we have to go beyond the wash goals beyond the water uh, supply, sanitation and hygiene goals. Of course, there's a great deal of unfinished business which has to be still continued under the umbrella of the sustainable development goals, which will be a set of universal goals as uh, if uh, governments agree with them. The idea is to go beyond in the sense of looking at other very important matters within uh, the framework of water resources management such as, for instance, climate adaptive uh, water resources strategies, impacts of climate change and other changes on the hydrological extremes, and how to mitigate the risk of flooding uh, and managing droughts. Equally, how to make uh, uh, sure that ecosystem services are not suffering. Transboundary issues came out very strongly during the discussion. And last but not least, very important is the capacity development needs, institutional capacity development needs, and individual uh, education systems, uh, training uh, systems. Uh, people who would then be coming out from those uh, systems and would be uh, equipped to deal with this issue. And can you briefly say, um, finally, um, after the meeting today, what would be a success for you? The success for me would be if this statement would be uh, adopted, because it's a very, very good statement. Uh, it is, uh, if I may say, it's a round statement. It really, in a very balanced fashion, is summarizing uh, what came out from the uh, consultation. And then this process, and I haven't uh, responded to the first part of your question, or second part of your question, will be then taken up by the Budapest Water Summit, which will be held in October. So there are various stations and stages in this whole, whole, whole uh, process, which ultimately will end to the uh, General Assembly, at the General Assembly of the UN uh, next year, uh, in 2014, just prior to launching the post-2015 development agenda.